the Torah tells us, six days shall you work, and the seventh day is Shabbat for the Lord your God. Shabbat is the name of the seventh day of the week. Shabbat also happens to be the only day of the week that actually has a name in Hebrew, literally translated as sit or dwell, implying the idea of slowing down. Every other day of the week is referred to by the numerical value it holds in creation, day one, day two, counting towards Shabbat. As the week progresses, we anticipate the arrival of Shabbat and can begin to prepare for it. I know people who start wishing others Shabbat Shalom as early as Wednesday, Yom Revi'i. So why not start to prepare early in the week and have something to look forward to? We can shop for ingredients and get a head start on the preparation, the food, baking or buying challah, picking up some fresh flowers, Throughout our history, Shabbat has always been at the very center of Jewish consciousness. It is repeated more than any other mitzvah in the Torah, and it is the only ritual observance which is part of the Ten Commandments. What is it about Shabbat that makes it so important to the Jewish people, so powerful to the individual, and yet so mystifying to those who haven't experienced it yet? The Midrash says, Midrash or legend, when the Jewish people were gathered at Mount Sinai to receive the Torah, God told them that heaven would be their reward for keeping the commandments. The Jews asked God, how are we supposed to know what makes heaven so great if we haven't been there? God decided to give the Jewish people a taste of the world to come. Shabbat, a taste of heaven on earth. On Shabbat, the traditional Jew moves out of secular time into holy time. Secular time, where everybody is in a hurry, where time is money, towards holy time, which is actually the suspension of our normal awareness of time, the absence of time's usual pressure, and a level of existence that disposes the soul towards timeless things. Shabbat in many ways is like an island in time where our attention is refocused on contemplation and the interaction between family and friends. Shabbat is a time when we have to disconnect in order to reconnect. Without it, would we take time? And if we didn't all disconnect at the same time, would we ever have the chance to simply enjoy each other? In order to fully enjoy Shabbat and be able to slow down, I like to start preparing ahead so I can sit down at the dinner table with my family and simply just be with them. I created the Shabbat class as a means of sharing my love of Shabbat and the island of time it represents through delicious recipes, uplifting texts, and always music. Join me for my next class, where I will demonstrate the preparation and cooking of the traditional Moroccan dish, shakshuka, or matbucha, which is uh, a slow-cooked tomato and bell pepper salad. Making this dish helps me slow down and get into the Shabbat mood. You'll be able to serve this versatile dish at your Shabbat dinner, and then use the leftovers again for your Sunday brunch with eggs atop. I hope you'll tune in and watch this pre-recorded video and chat with me on the live stream with the other viewers. You can either cook along or simply enjoy the show. And I'll be posting the ingredient list if you decide that you want to cook with me. Watch and chat live on Facebook or YouTube or simply watch it at www.sedwinnipeg.ca. I look forward to seeing you at the cooking class. Shabbat a taste of the world to come.